So I've received a lot of questions about my kettle pizza setup, so I figured I would do a quick run through of how I have my kettle pizza set up uh, and the modifications I have made uh, to achieve some pretty nice results in pizza making and getting that really good wood fired flavor in a pizza. The first modification I made uh, was getting these Weber offset charcoal boxes uh, that you buy a two pack uh, pretty much anywhere. Uh, I started out with it on top of the grate and cooked a couple pizzas, but it proved to be a little too hot of a heat source at the back of the oven. So uh, you can see here that I modified it to sit down below the top grate uh, so that it is the heat source is below the pizza stone. The next piece I purchased is this barbecue dragon pizza stone. Uh, this thing uh, proved to be invaluable as a top heat source deflector. Uh, keeps the heat on top of the pizza where it belongs and not up into the kettle. Next I'm just going to walk through uh, setting up the pizza oven and getting it, uh, the coals ready and how I assemble it and get my heat going to the temperature that I need to cook a pizza. So you can see here I used a chimney to get my charcoal going. Of course, never use lighter fluid. Um, you could use starters if you have them, but I prefer the chimney. So I put lump charcoal uh, in my offset box uh, just as a starter heat source there. Don't put too much in there. You'll want to put some wood in there later on, but I'll show that. And then next, we're just going to take the rest of the coals and distribute them around the edges of the kettle to keep the heat coming up the sides of the stone and not directly under it. These get pretty hot, so you may want to wear some gloves. Grab yourself something that you can move the coals around with and rake them off to the sides. You're going to want to add a little more charcoal to those depending on how many pizzas you plan to cook here. I'm setting up to do maybe four or five pizzas and so you can see how the, the top rack sits above the coals with the offset box in the back. Next you put your pizza stone on, put a couple more coals in the back there just to keep your heat going. Next, I'm going to place my barbecue dragon stone on top. You can see it's a really nice thick stone and it has those tabs that sit right on the wing nuts of the kettle pizza. And then once that's in place, you can place your lid of your kettle grill on top. And you can already see that starting to heat up pretty nicely there from the back. You're also going to want to adjust your vents to not quite full open at this point, otherwise it could get too hot too quickly and you want to get a nice even heat rise inside the pizza oven. Just before adding the pizzas, I'm adding a couple little pieces of uh, maple wood that I had laying around uh, to create that fire in the back that'll start to build up and roll out above and uh, between your pizza stones. You could use any kind of wood you want here. As you can see here, it's already starting to roll flame up from the back. 
That barbecue dragon stone is making a really nice top heat deflector. You're going to want your stone to be anywhere between 600 and 800 degrees. Uh, toward the back, it's obviously going to be a little hotter, but you want that front part of your bottom stone to be right around 600, maybe even a little higher. The internal temperature of your oven is going to show at about 500, and you should be ready to start cooking. These pizzas only take about three minutes to cook total, and you're gonna to wanna to watch it and turn that pizza accordingly so that it doesn't burn uh, on the backside. That flame rollover on top with a deflector helps cook the top of the pizza evenly with the bottom of the pizza. And in three to four minutes, you have a perfectly cooked pizza. Look at the bubbling on top of that. And that's pretty much it. That's how I have my kettle pizza set up. You can see a really nice top flame I'm getting. Uh, with a combination of that wood in the back along with the barbecue dragon top stone deflector. Get out there and make some pizzas. Enjoy. I'll leave links to some of my modification pieces in the uh, description below, so go check those out and uh, go set up your own kettle pizza oven.